Hi, this is Tim from RealWebsiteHints.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to move your WordPress website the easy way. So what I've done here is I've built this site you can see here on my computer uh, using MAMP. I've got a video to show you how to do that if you're interested in developing your WordPress site locally on your computer. Um, so you can see we've got a full couple of pages here. We got some some different stuff. So, you know, we did, we did some work and we now want to move it to our final location and host it on the web. So the first thing we need to do is to install the Backup Buddy plugin. So not only does Backup Buddy help you back up your site, but it also helps you to move your site. So go ahead and we'll download the plugin here. Boom, there we go. The plugin is installed. We'll go back to our site. We'll log into the dashboard. You can find a link to the Backup Buddy plugin in the description of this video, or if you go to realwebsitehints.com slash move your site. All right, let's log in here. Okay, and I've actually already installed this plugin here because I believe that Backup Buddy is the first plugin you should install on your website, especially when you're developing. As you're developing, you might want to experiment with different plugins to see if it helps you add the functionality that you want to your site. Sometimes those plugins can mess up your site. So it's always a good idea to have Backup Buddy on your site and to make a backup copy of your website before you install any new plugins. So if you did just install Backup Buddy, um, the first place you'll actually be taken to is this quick setup, which makes setting up Backup Buddy super easy. I'll just show it to you real quick. So if you just installed Backup Buddy, this is the setup wizard. Um, you enter in your email address. You create a password for migrating your backups. This is really important, so I'm actually going to do it right now to make sure I did it. And you can decide um, where you want your backups sent to. If you want to send to have them sent to a remote destination, um, we're not going to worry about like that for this demo. I'll talk about that in a in a future demo. Um, and how often do you want to back up your site? I don't have a uh, backup scheduled backup setup on this one, but um, it's a good thing to have on your site, and it's a good thing to know that it's really easy to configure. Just save settings. Okay, and then the first thing that happens after you um, install Backup Buddy and go through that setup wizard is it makes a backup of your site. And that backup is actually the backup that we are going to need in order to move our site. We'll just wait for it to finish here. Okay, so that backup finished, but let me just show you real quick how to backup your site if you know you didn't just install the plugin, but you already had it installed and you're ready to move your site. So what you want to do if you want to move your site is you want to create a complete backup. This backup will back up both your database and your site files. And a complete backup will go through the same process. We'll jump ahead here to when the backup's complete. Okay, so now we've completed our backup for our site, and we want to download this backup. So there we go. The backup is downloading to our computer right now. Just take a few moments. There we go. Backup is done. And the second thing we need to do is we also need to backup a copy, or rather download a copy of the Import Buddy um, script, which is right here. So we'll download that. Um, we already created a password for it, but if you forgot what that password was that you originally created or want to create a different password for this, you can just enter it in right here. So I'm just going to say OK. OK, so I've got both of those files downloaded to our computer. And the next step is to set those files up on the server where we're going to be hosting our website. So I use DreamHost for all of my hosting, and I've been using DreamHost for years. I really like them, so we'll show you how to do this on DreamHost. Go to DreamHost. And we'll log into our panel. Here we're on the dashboard. So what we need to do is we need to FTP those files up to our server. So we need to just know what the username is for our server. So in this case, the username is Tim. 6789. Um, hopefully you remember the password that you created. If you don't remember the password that you created, you can click here and do edit. You can create a new password right here and then do save your changes. So let's go back to the user setting list. 
So you can connect via FTP here to your website. Um, it will go through Finder on your Mac or I believe uh, Explorer on your Windows machine. But I actually prefer to just use Transmit. It's really easy for me to set it up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and set this up right here. So what you need to do here is you need to enter in the FTP for your website, which is usually the domain name of, the, of your website that you created. and then enter in your username that you got from your DreamHost panel. Enter in your password, and then all the rest of the settings should be fine. So this will connect us into all the folders for the different domains that we have on our server. So we'll go ahead and click on the right website hints one. I installed uh, WordPress earlier on this to sh um, give you a demo of how to use the one-click install, but what, right now we need to remove all of those files. So we'll just delete those. You can find a link to the Transmit program um, in the description of this video or at realwebsitehints.com slash move your site. So now what we need to do is upload the files that we downloaded from our backup buddy uh, backup. So we've got the zipped file that has the files from our backup, and the importbuddy.php script. So let those upload. Okay, so now those are in the directory for our website. Let's go ahead and we need to create a new database for these files. So let's do that. So we go to MySQL databases. So here we are in the MySQL server area where we need to create a database for our website that we can put into the import buddy PHP script when it asks us, and that's the database that is going to be used for the site that we are moving. So you can see here that uh, DreamHost automatically creates users for you for your database, and so since we're loading this onto the right website, hints.com site, we need to use this user. So we need to keep track or write down what this username is and what the password is. So I'm going to use text edit to do that. Just put this over here, write down the username. And we'll write down the password. You get the password by clicking on the users with access button right here. And then it says current password here. And you need to show that. And then we'll copy the password. There we go. So we've got that information saved. Now let's go ahead and create a database for our website. Let's give the database na a name here. So we'll call it right hints site two. I just want to make sure it's not the same database name that was cr used to create the original right website hints.com site that I created when I was doing the demo of how to use the one-click install. Um, you want to use the host name of the domain that you're using, so we'll click writewebsitehints.com. And we want to make sure that the user is the same user that's up here, so that that doesn't get messed up. And then we'll do add new database now. There we go, so we've created our database. Our database name is write, write hints site 2 so let's just make sure we put that in here. Site 2. And the database host is mysql.writewebsitehints.com. And you can see that information right here. So now let's go ahead and complete the process of moving our site and load the site onto the server. So I'm going to create a new tab here, just in case I need to go back to that for some reason. And we'll go to writewebsitehands.com slash Im, importbuddy.php. So here we need to enter either the password that we created when we first installed the backup buddy, and it asks you for that password, or the password that you entered in when you downloaded the import buddy script. Okay, so this is the backup that we uploaded to the server. There was nothing else on there. If you had a bunch of different backups on there, it would show give you a bunch of different options. It shows you the date and time that you made it, so that helps you identify which backup is the correct one. 
So that's correct. We'll do next step. So now it has unzipped the files from the backup. I've got the, um, want to make sure that the WordPress address is correct, and that's right here. We need to change the MySQL ser server information to the information that we copied over here. So I'm just going to copy it from right here. So we've got the MySQL. So this is the server for our MySQL database. The database name we wrote right here. And then the database user is this first one up here. And the database password. So it should be fine to leave the database prefix WP underscore. Now let's test the database connection. And you can see that all of the tests passed. If one of these didn't pass, then you need to go back through and either check what you entered here or go back and check on your MySQL server to see if something went wrong there. So let's go ahead and continue installing the site. So now it's completed the database import for our site, and we're ready to go to the next step. Database migration is complete. So now it's asking us to check to make sure that our site has been imported properly. So let's check. So right here on the rightwebsitehints.com domain, we have the Move Your Site site that we created on our, on our Mac, and we moved up to our DreamHost server. And there you go. You can see all the pages are here. We've got the sales page. And we've got the blog page. And we can even log into the back end by going to the back end here. So here's our site, ready to go on our domain and ready to be worked on or ready to be initiated. Once you've verified that everything is working properly on your site, you need to go back to the Import Buddy page and click the Clean Up and Remove Temporary Files button. Now there's just one more thing to check back on our site. So if you did move your site and it's all completed and ready to go live, you do want to make sure that you go to Settings, Reading, and you want to encourage, so you want to uncheck this, because you want to encourage search engines to index this site and then save changes. And you're done. Check out the description below for links related to this video. You can always go to realwebsitehints.com for a detailed blog post on the steps featured in this video. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel for the latest tips and techniques to make your web development easier.